Welcome to Science with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering ecosystems. We will be talking about what ecosystems are, some important details about ecosystems, and then go through some examples. First, we'll start with what an ecosystem is. And an ecosystem is made up of all the biotic and abiotic factors, aka all the living and non-living things in a given area and all of their interactions. So basically all the organisms together with their physical environment. Every factor in an ecosystem, whether biotic or abiotic, is important to the health and balance of that ecosystem. So let's go through some key points about ecosystems in order to better understand them. First, we will discuss size. So how big is an ecosystem? Well, the short answer is they have no particular size requirements. Ecosystems can be small like a puddle or tree or as large as a desert, forest, or coral reef. The size of an ecosystem depends on the given area being looked at and ecosystems can be in water or on land. An ecosystem can be anywhere. Next, we have roles or niches, and that just means that everything has a job within the ecosystem. Whether it be producers, consumers, decomposers, those are all biotic factors, or abi abiotic factors like water, temperature, the amount of sunlight, and air, those all play a role within an ecosystem as well. Everything has a role to play. That brings us to balance. All species are very important to the health and balance of an ecosystem. Balance keeps everything stable, disrupting the balance. For example, an organism's population decreasing or maybe a new organism being introduced like an invasive species, will throw off the balance and health of the ecosystem. So balance is very important and something to keep in mind when it comes to ecosystems. Lastly, we get to energy flow. All energy starts with the sun. That is very important. And the producers within an ecosystem take that energy from the sun and convert it to chemical energy that can be used here on Earth. That process is called photosynthesis. Food chains and food webs are representations of the energy flow within an ecosystem. I have separate videos that go into more detail on those. I'll add those links down in the description. So again, energy flow is important to the survival of organisms and the ecosystem itself. Now let's take a look at four examples here. We have a small puddle, a desert, a coral reef, and a forest. So that gives us a wide range of examples. So there you have it. There are the basics of an ecosystem, and that kind of shows us the wide range, like I said, of ecosystems and just all the possibilities when it comes to ecosystems. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.